glory. I'm not going from problem to problem. I'm going from faith to faith. Somebody said praise the Lord. Amen. And if you lose everything, praise God, serving God, you lose everything, serving God, just say thank you, Lord Jesus, because it belonged to you anyway. Job started losing, 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 losing. You know what he said? The Lord giveth. And the Lord taketh away. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. You got to change the way you talk. You got to start blessing God, praising God, thanking God. I told you not long ago, when you get blessed, get on your knees. And say, God, I don't deserve it. I humble myself. You bless me. I'm getting on my knees because I don't deserve it, God. And if you're going through a hard time, instead of boohooing about it, start worshiping, praising God. Say hallelujah. Wow, I don't know why I just went off on that, man. I just, Holy Ghost. Woo. Look at your name and say, I'm blessed, I'm secure, and I'm increasing. Don't refuse to acknowledge God in your life. Because he can turn the fountain off anytime he wants to. How many of y'all want him to turn the fountain of blessing off? Brother Dice used to say this. He is out here. I'm getting under the under the, the spigot, under the spout. Yeah, thank you. He said, I'm getting under the spout where the glory comes out. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm getting under the spout where the glory comes out. Somebody said, Hallelujah. What an amazing God He is. Blessed, secure, increasing. Who can count the dust of Jacob? And the number of the fourth part of Israel. You see what He's saying, man? He just blessing words coming out of His mouth. Blessing. Strong, powerful words. You and I have to have that kind of speak. We have to have God talk. God talk. You got... I, you know what? I'm going to take these glasses off because I'm tired of looking at some of y'all. I don't want to see some of you. Because if I keep looking at you, I'm going to get depressed. I keep looking at some of you and I'm going to get down in the dumps like you. So I don't even want to see you. Well, hallelujah. I, okay. Well, there's, there's two ways to handle this. <laughs> who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel and the fourth thing he says let me die the death of the righteous and let my last end be like his take my glasses off now are you with me you see he saw them and he said they're righteous God allowed him to, them to see all, all the way up into the future into the kingdom age well, Israel was saved and blessed all the way up in the kingdom age. It wasn't that he didn't just, he, he wasn't just saying, well, I want to die and go to heaven. He said, let me die the death of the righteous. See, he sees way up into the future, the ultimate outcome of the people of God. When you get in God's kingdom, when you get in God's heaven, hallelujah, to the left, the ultimate outcome of the righteous. And he said, I want that. All he can do when he sees them so blessed, all he can do is envy them. He said, let me die the death of the righteous and let my latter end be like his. He's so envious of them, he desires that outcome. The sad part about it is, Balaam died as a sinner man. He died as a sinner man. He wanted to die the death of the righteous. But he wasn't willing to live the life of the righteous. And he dies the death of a sinner man. God slays him in judgment. Isn't that sad? He saw the people of God so blessed. He wanted to die like them. But he didn't live like them. And so he died as a sinner man. 
He didn't have to. He could have repented. Praise God. How many of y'all want to die the death of the righteous? Or do you want to die the death of the sinner man? Do you realize that the very breath you're breathing tonight comes from God? He could walk by you, sinner man or saved. Walk by you tonight and say, I want your breath. And go, receive it right into himself. He breathed into your nostrils the breath of life. He can inhale it anytime he wants to. We better give him praise. We breathe his, his air. We drink his water. Come on, somebody. Let me die the death of the righteous. I'm putting my glasses back on so I can read. And let my last end be like his. How many of y'all want to be, end up like the righteous? Then you got to live like the righteous. You're not going to die and accidentally get in heaven. No. You're not going to die and accidentally have eternal bliss. Eternal blessing. You got to get right with God. Did you hear what I said? This man was envious of the church. But he died the death of a sinner man. Sad didn't have to be that way. I believe that God was trying to reach this man. God speaking to him, putting his word in his mouth, inspiration supernaturally. Open his eyes so he can see. The blessings, the security, the enlargement, and the last end of the people of God. Balaam, you can be a part of them. You can repent. You can, like Rahab did. You can repent. Come on, somebody. You can acknowledge that God, and He will, ultimately, He'll say God's in control. I can't curse what God has blessed. God is in control. Amen. Amen. Yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. I appreciate y'all, those that came ready for church tonight. Yeah. Well, well, Pastor, I just got so many problems and I got so many things I'm dealing with. Okay, like I don't have anything. Okay, well, I'm just telling you, man, I'm going to look at it from God's perspective. I'm going to get revelation. I'm going to see it from God's perspective. I've got to get a word from God. Because by nature, by nature, I'm negative. By nature, I'm negative. I need God to let me see something different. I need God to put something different in my mouth. Because by nature, I'm a grumbler. I'm a complainer. I'm a doubter. I'm a person of unbelief. Come on, somebody by nature. I need something supernatural to come to this donkey tonight. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Verse 11, and Balak said unto Balaam, what hast thou done unto me? I took thee to curse mine enemies. You know, I thought you were a curse expert. I brought you over here to change the future, to alter the future, to control the outcomes of this people so they would have a bad day. (laughs) And here I have offered you all this money to make them have a bad day tomorrow. And they're not going to have a bad day. They're going to have a better day tomorrow than they have today. Praise God. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to have a great day tomorrow. Hallelujah. You know what? There's a lot of people who don't want you to have a good day. I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you. There's a lot of people who don't want you to have a good day. They, in fact, they celebrate if you don't have a good day. They'd be happy if you don't have a good day. But you know what? I made up my mind in Jesus. And I'm going to keep on smiling. And I'm going to keep on shouting. And I'm going to keep on praising. I'm going to keep on dancing. I'm going to keep on preaching. I'm going to keep on living for Him. Hallelujah. Because I know God is in control of my future. He's controlling my welfare. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother, do you, have, do, you have, do you have more better days than you do bad days? Yes, sir. Well, hallelujah. Amen. How many of y'all have more better days than you do bad days? 
You know, there's a lot of people living on this planet can't say that. You're the people. We ought to be thankful. That's the problem. We're not thankful enough. We need to be thankful for what God. Praise the Lord. You know, the enemies try to throw all kinds of things at you. But you keep on singing. You keep on praising. You keep on going. Keep a smile on your face. Amen. He can't figure it out. Say praise the Lord. And he's not. Well, it's just Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's not going to take my joy. He's not, he, he should not be able to take your joy. He should not be able to take your victory. Your confidence is in your God. He will get you through all kinds of demonic plans and attacks and activities and all kinds of witchcraft launched against you. He'll get you through all of that. He'll get you through every test, every trial, every sickness, every disease. He'll get you through every battle. Come on, He'll get you through times of doubt. He'll get you through times of discouragement. He'll get you through times when you feel like dying and you don't want to live anymore. Hallelujah. He gets you through all of that. And you're still praising Him. Enemy tried, enemy tried to shut the doors of this church 20, 26 years ago. He tried to shut the doors of this church 26 years ago. Guess what? We're blessed and not cursed. Now I'm putting my glasses on because I'm going to read. Balak said unto Balaam, what hast thou done unto me? I took thee to curse my enemies. Behold, thou hast blessed them all together. Isn't that cool, brother? Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to have a good day tomorrow. Balak don't want me to have a good day, but I'm going to have a good day tomorrow. Praise the Lord. You know how many people want you to have a bad day? You'd be surprised. The ones you think that are with you want you to have a good day. They don't want you to have a good day. They hope you fail. They hope you fall flat on your face. Praise God. But you know what Brother Dice used to say? I hear Brother Dice tonight. You know what he used to say? He said, if, I, he said, if I'm going to flop, he said, I'm going to flop on Main Street. <laughs> he said, I'm not going to be a little flop. He said, I'm going to go out big flop. Yeah. Say praise the Lord. Praise God. God. I serve a big God. Yeah. I believe for big things. Yeah. Say praise God, church. Yeah. Believe God for big things, not little things. Yeah. You serve a big God, a great God. If you flop, just flop, just flop right down on Main Street. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. But you're not going to, don't, don't flop, don't flop. Believe Jesus. Believe Jesus. Because we don't read about you in the newspaper. You say, well, what happened to you? Well, the pastor said if I flop, I need to flop on Main Street. So that's why I flopped on Main Street. No, don't do that. Just say, I'm blessed in Jesus' name. I'm going forward. Look at you and say, I'm going forward. Because I know who's in control of my future. There are a lot of things in heaven. A lot of gifts in heaven. That they're waiting for you. You got an attitude of gratitude? Are you thankful tonight? You got a thankful heart? Do you believe your God? Then start opening your mouth and believe. That you're blessed. That you're secure. That he will enlarge you. And that your future is better than your present. Verse 12. And he answered and said. Now I'm going to tell you tonight. I don't want anybody coming and talking to me tonight. And dumping on my lap any negativity. Any problems. Because I preach the word of God to you tonight. If this don't get it fixed for you. Don't come to me. Because I don't want your mess. Somebody said amen. amen. So you pack your pretty little bags up. You walk out. You say I'm blessed and not cursed. Everything's going to be alright in Jesus name. And, it, and if something needs to repent. You tell it to repent. But you don't bring it to me. Because I don't want to hear it. Amen. Somebody said amen. amen. I'm going home happy tonight. 
I'm going to go home believing God's word tonight. And I don't need anybody raining on my party. So don't be coming and raining on my party. I had to get a hold of God tonight. You got to get a hold of God tonight. Somebody said amen. Amen. I had to pray through, preach through, worship through. I did it. You got to pray through, worship through. You got to get your own walk with God. Somebody said amen. Amen. No, I don't want, don't rain on my party. Yeah, look at your neighbor and tell him don't rain on my party. I got the victory. I did what I needed to do to believe God. Say praise the Lord, church. I'm not kidding you, man. I get the victory. There's always somebody out there, man. You know, want to just completely change it. No, no, not tonight, man. You don't have the victory after two hours of preaching. I can't give it to you by sitting another hour with you in my office. Get the victory now. Get it 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 now. now. Somebody said, praise the Lord. You come and dump your trash on me, and then I'm going to stay up all night long. And you're going to go to sleep because you unloaded on me. No way. No how. You stay up all night. I'm going home happy in Jesus. I'm going home victorious in Jesus. And he answered and said, Must not I take heed to speak that which the Lord hath put in my mouth? And that's what I say to you tonight. You're blessed and not cursed. Walk out of here and believe that. And you got problems, you got stuff in your life, you know how to take care of it. If it's not right, repent. You know how to take care of it. You feel oppressed, start worshiping God. Change your atmosphere. Speak a different language. Blessed. Secure. Enlarged, and my letter in is going to be better than it is right now. My tomorrow is going to be better than my today. Hallelujah. Somebody said, Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name. Appreciate you hearing the Word of God. Revelation by sight, inspiration by the Word of God that puts in your mouth. And illumination is I receive that word. I hear it myself. I see it myself. And I walk out believing my God. <clears throat> if God would put his word in the mouth of a pagan, what are you going to do with the covenant people? You are so blessed. I don't believe God is. I'm going to let you go now. I don't believe God wants you to wait till you get to heaven one day. And stand before his throne. And he shows you all these gifts that he wanted to give you. But they were still there in heaven waiting for you. Because you did not believe what God said in his word. About you and what was for you. Say amen. Amen. God's got so much waiting for you. But don't cancel it with your unbelief. Don't cancel it with your negative thinking. Don't cancel it with a sinful lifestyle because God is a good God and He enjoys blessing even those that are at times not faithful because He's a faithful God to His covenant people. Let's stand. Let's give God praise tonight. Thank you. Thank you, King. Thank you, King. Thank you, Jesus. Worship you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. See, I'll show you. I'll show you something. To show you, that, you know, spiritual warfare, I don't have to tell you that, that. That's real. But as soon as I said what I said and I was going to dismiss you, you know what? Depression, a spirit of depression tried to get on me. Oppression tried to step on, step on me. 
Man, I've got the victory. But before I step off the platform, that thing's trying to... So you know what I had to do? In Jesus' name. I can't let it get in me. I can't let it get there. I cannot yield to that. I can't do it. In Jesus' name. So I bless every one of you tonight that believes the Word of God. I bless you. I'm trusting God to prosper you, to enable you with His power. Shalom. I'm trusting God to put His favor on your life, to lift up His count and say, I want to bless you. I'm trusting God tonight. Hallelujah. And when it happens, don't fail to give Him glory. Don't keep it to yourself. Because we need to know. We need to hear what the Lord has done for you. Let's give Him one more praise. So now, Lord... According to your spirit and according to your word. By your spirit and according to your word. I commend every spirit to bow. You are in control of the spirit of witchcraft. You are in control of it. Make it bow in Jesus' mighty name. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us. Thou shalt condemn. And everybody said in Jesus' name. How many of y'all believe that you're going to be blessed even more? You're dismissed in the awesome name of Jesus. I love each and every one of you.